Tracy at the Bernina Sewing Studio, and it's our goal to keep you as informed and as uh, happy with your hobby as possible. We would love to show you a few things that you can continually go on and check out on our website. Starting with bias. Bias is kind of a misunderstood grain of fabric. It takes a little bit of practice, but once you get the idea, you'll love the flow and how fluid and how uh, easy it is to cut bias. I'm going to show you that right here. Some people think they have to have a perfect square, but it doesn't matter what size your fabric is, what size your rectangle is, you can cut it from that. You don't have to waste that little extra bit of fabric. So we're going to do it out of stripes so you can really see the grain. And when you start, if you will fold that fabric on the diagonal, because the bias grain is that perfect 45 diagonal strip of fabric. Now, if you have extra fabric out here, you'd fold that up just kind of like a prairie point. And the purpose of folding the fabric is to get it on the mat so you can cut it easily. So if your mat's smaller, fold that fold back against itself, and then you'll be ready to cut. We want to first get rid of that fold edge because that fold edge may not be real accurate. And so put your ruler right next to that folded edge, push over, and use very good safety procedures for cutting. And that is holding your fingers well away from the cutting blade. Always close that cutting blade every time you finish cutting and lay your blade down. Now, if we were going to cut bias that was, let's just cut some that's smaller than an inch. On this ruler, it's going to be really easy to see that because the guides are very simple to see. And so push that ruler over where you're going to cut just below an inch. Let's make this 7 eighths of an inch. And then hold your hand flat. Don't hold your hand up because that makes your hand really tighten up all the way up into your neck. Hold your hand flat and with the rotary blade, push all the way through. Now once you do that, all you have to do is move over to the next step or the next piece and keep on keeping on. It's kind of like slicing baked sugar cookies, so you're going to have a lot of bias cut here. And the bias grain is very stretchy and it's easy to manipulate and easy to form around corners and curves and make some beautiful embellishments with this. So as you keep cutting, then you will have that perfect bias grain. Now, stitching these together is a little bit com uh, complicated in the beginning, but once you start, you will see that it isn't hard at all. If you have a striped edge, the stripes that are parallel to the grain will fit with other stripes that are parallel to the grain. The stripes that are perpendicular to the grain will fit with other stripes that are perpendicular to the grain. So, this looks almost like a picture frame. When we lay this out, it's going to make an exact right angle, and your goal is to stitch from the divot to the divot, and that will make a perfect bias edge. If the pieces fit together like this, and you stitch those together, you're going to have a corner. And normally we want linear fabric to make strips and strips of bias. So, put the edge of the fabric where you have a little bit of overlap, and the overlap is your seam allowance. So, we'll go to the sewing machine and do that. Perpendicular stripes together, overlapping, so our seam allowance is always going to be from the divot to the divot, and that's what we aim for. The center line of that presser foot is going to be exactly where that needle falls if your needle position is in the center. And as you stitch, you'll just chain stitch right off of one and then right onto the next piece. And so 
your parallel lines line up with each other and your perpendicular lines line up with each other. And then you have that perfect bias strip. So just sew from one to the next, to the next, to the next, and you'll have these loops that are forming like that. And then when you're all finished, then you can clip and clip everything apart. Then you will want to press open the seam and you can do that even with a hot thumb like that and clip the corners, clip the dog ears and then clip your seams very close so that they don't get in your way. It's a little bit smaller than a quarter of an inch and then you have a beautiful strip of bias. Now, there's lots and lots of things you can do with that. Quilts are something that really do make a difference in your home. They're comforting and they're wonderful to give as gifts. We have all kinds of quilts from simple, simple to complex. So come in and see how easy it would be for you to put one of these together.